So we have previously covered dynamic posing as well as color theory and color meaning or different emotions that can be expressed through color. Well, this is leading us into our next lesson where you are going to be developing your very own characters. Each of you should have access to a sheet of paper like this. It basically is a worksheet that allows you to name several different things about a unique character that you are going to be creating. The first thing going to ask for a form of the character. So the character that I chose in the example that you're watching here is going to be a cat. Now the physical characteristics, you put that in, you answer all these questions all the way down to the name and the colors that represent that character. The characters need to be completely original to you. So that means no matter how much you like a character from a Disney movie that nobody talks about, you're not allowed to draw that character. Come up with your own character, a unique character to you. And there's a reason why I have the name of that character as one of the very last things you put on there, because Everything else on this list is going to add to the character. And at the very bottom, it says what colors best represent the character that you chose. I want you to look at everything that you wrote down on that paper. Look at it, analyze it, and think about it. And think about the colors that best represent that character. You are then going to take this data sheet that you made and you are going to make three different character drawings for this one character. You are not only just going to have three drawings, you're going to have nine drawings because I want you to create three separate characters with three separate drawings each. This is going to be very important later, but I would like you to try and put in as much detail as you can. You will have the entire week to work on this and I also want it to be colored as well. So your character drawings, try and make them full pages if you can. Try and color them in to make them look like the best representation of that character that you can come up with. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you all very much and I hope you enjoy the lesson.